how to make a website or store on big cartel quick and easy tutorial hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create your own store on big cartel and how you can sell your products on big cartel it's very easy and it's going to be a very quick guide so without any delay i'm just getting right into the video so first of all what you need to do is obviously open bigcartel.com on your web browser and this is what the site will look like as you can see this is the big cartel home page and you have easy online stores for artists and makers we make it simple to build a unique online store sell your work and run a creative business and then you have your keep your money then you have your sign up packages you have your uh, sign up for a free package and you can sell five products on this one and it doesn't require any kind of credit card because it's completely free then you have your another uh, option for you which is 9.99 dollar per month it gives you 50 products and you don't have to pay any kind of listing fees and then you have your 500 products option for you and it costs you 19.99 dollar per month and it has no list listing fees as well and when you come down here you can see other features of these packages as well one image per product free customizable themes and online in person etc etc it does have more options than this one and this one basically the features for these two packages are almost the same but they have difference in their product range so the, these are all the packages that you have then you have your made for makers and you can have your custom shops and they have given you some kind of examples how you can use your different tools and etc so what we're going to do is i'm just going into the free one right here i'm just going to show you how can you add your product and create your own store so as you can see you can see this option right here which is open your store i'm just going to look at, click on this option okay so it has given me the same plans i need to sign up with one of them so it's going to go with this free one okay so what you need to do is you need to provide your email address your password your shop name and your url so i'm just going to basically come here and provide uh write in all my details real quick and i'll get back to you guys okay so i added my email i added in a password i added in a shop name which is a mock store because it is just for the tutorial purpose and then this is my shop url and as you can see it is mockstore.bitcartel.com and this is your website and this will basically will be your website for your store i'm just going to click on the sign up option so what they have done is basically they have sent a verification email to my email address i'm just going to go on and i'm going to verify my email address real quick and then i'll get back to you guys so what i need to do is i'm just going to open up my uh, gmail into another tab i'm going to you know have a little verification and then i will after verification i'll get back to you okay guys so as you can see this is uh, my email has been uh, verified and when i opened up my verification email this is the site that is opened up this is my dashboard for my big cartel website and as you can see getting started checklist so there are some simple steps that i need to complete uh, when i am going basically i'm getting started into creating a store at big cartel i need to add a product then i need to add explore shipping profiles then i need to connect a payment processor i need to design my shop and then i need to launch my shop so these are all the options Options. these are all, all the steps that i need to complete while i'm making a shop for myself so i'm just going to go on and add a product okay so i don't have any kind of product right now so i'm just going to click on this add product option and a plus sign create new product what is the product name going to be i'm just going to add in the product name as sweater then you need to add descriptions uh best for winter and i'm just going to add a little bit of description best for winter uh let's say it's fluffy and warm okay so this is the uh description for my sweater okay then i need to add categories if you want to add any categories to your product then you can just come here and you don't have any categories yet um you, yet i'm just going to you know to get started click the manage categories button down below you can make any many categories if you want i'm just going to cancel it right now you can just do that yourself you can make as many categories basically these are the hashtags the seo for your website you can make them uh, real quick and then you have your status what is going to be your product status it is active hidden sold out coming soon it is going to be active and then i need to add a price for my product i'm just going to sell it for uh, let's say uh, I'm going to sell it for dollar twenty. Wait a second. Okay, then I need to add some options. Uh, add individual options and add grouped options. I'm just going to click on add individual options. And what are what is my you know twenty 
option price is 20 and everything it is on sale if it's on sale just uh, click on this option right here and you can make the whole thing as you know um it's on sale and it was 20 before and it is 15 now and everything then you can have to add your shipping uh if you want to add any kind of shipping uh you know fees to any country if you want to you can just select the country from right here you can add a loan without the shipping fee and with others and everything so you can do that as well and then you if you are added to us tax code this is default this product doesn't have any us tax exemptions if you want to add any us tax code and everything you just click on that and i'm going to click on save okay so this is my product basically so i'm just going to add an image for my product as well real quick i'm just going to click on here i'm going to go into pictures and i'm going to find an image of a sweater that i have downloaded from a google earth little while ago i'm just going to go on and you know to find it okay so here is it uh okay i'm going to open it and okay so my sweater is uploaded if i need to add any other image i'm just click on that and add as many images as you want and then i'm going to click on save once again okay so after everything is saved i'm just going to go on my dashboard once again i'm going to add um, complete all of those steps one by one so that my store can be explore shipping profiles you can quickly create a flat shipping rates or customized profiles for your products i'm just going to click on this this option right here and as you can see this is my shop and i'm going to edit my profile if i want to add my profile uh, edit my profile right here i'm just going to click on this option right here and this is my shop name shop description website and email address okay so when everything is good i'm going to click back and i can add my profile image right here so that uh, i look more authentic and more professional to the people that come to my website then this is my shop that i have just created and then you have your get paid option what is accept credit cards with stripe accept payments with paypal so you can set up your payment options from right here just click on this option and you can either get them from paypal or connect them with stripe so what you need to do is just click on this connect paypal and it will take you to paypal you just need to add in your email and everything can uh, connect to your account and you'll be able to get your payments to paypal i'm just going to back my account and then you can add in billing what is uh, your billing going to be five products plus limited features free and this is the uh, version that i have added to your plan and billing and you can just do that shops profiles beta and preferences and security so these are all the things that you have on here what you need to do is i'm going to do is i'm just going to basically go on this design option right here and have my little shop designed and themed accordingly and make a little bit of you know change to our website and bring a little bit life to it okay so as you can see here this is my mock store and this is the one product that i have now if i want to add any header image i can just do that and repeating background image you have slideshow and then you have your colors that you can add then you have your announcement text maintenance mode message navigation themes featured products featured products offers maximum products per row and everything and everything and everything a lot of options options are available so what you need to i'm going to first of all go on to the themes and i'm going to find myself a really good theme that i want to add so this is the current theme this is the luna then you have a roadie then i have a netizen i have a sunscreen and i have lunch break so i'm just going to maybe go with this lunch break right here because uh, are you sure you want to select a new theme yes okay so this is my theme now this is what i have added and this is how it looks like this is my featured product so all one product that i have i'm just going to into the settings i'm going to go on to my header wait a second i'm going to go on to this header option right here and i'm going to select an image for my header let's say just let's say for the sake of it i'm going to open up this image i'm going to add it as my header okay so the image has been added but it is not like it is it is not fixed to the header and everything so you can just come here and i'm going to delete it because good for an image up to 140 pixels and high so you can uh, create something that is if you know that is for the header thing and you can just click on the um, you know have it created and you can just come on here and upload it so that it will fix then i can select and drop a home page slideshow if you want to add any kind of slideshow i'm just going to click here and i'm going to add more images let's say these three images i want to add in my slideshow these are not related to sweaters or anything i'm going to add it as you know for the sake of it okay the three of five are added okay so my slideshow has been kind of created as you can see this is 
my first product and this is my second slideshow and i then there will be a third one okay so this you can do and then you have your colors you can just change any one of it then you have your fonts and you have your options like this is the right now the maintenance mode message then you have your slide bar option you can just make it at right or make it at left if you want to i'm just going to keep it on left because on the right it doesn't look very good then you have your header alignment you can add your header to your right or to your left or to your center so i'm just going to make it at center like it was then i have featured products how many products i need to feature i'm going to make it 10 then you have your newest product feature products order what is the going to be the order newest obviously maximum products per row three is good maximum products per row for mobile two product grid image design crop to square fit to square i'm going to make it fit to square then you have product grid details alignment and then you have products per page you show search your newest product and twitter url all the socials go here and that's it this is your website this is how you create a website then you can go on to pages you can add as many pages as you want like i want to add um let's say let's say i want to add contact us page contact us okay so i need to add this page onto my uh, you know onto my website and just added the another page so as you can see this is now what my contact us page looks like so if i click on here i have home i have product products contact cart manager this is the contact us that i have created these are all the changes that you can make to your website then you have code if you can uh, if you want to add any SS, css code default code onto your website to upgrade the theme or anything you can just do that and you'll be good to go so this is how you can create your own web store on your big cartel it is very easy and it is very user friendly you can just click on this option right here and change the view to tablet or phone and see how your website looks on tablet or phone as well so i hope this video was a big help to you and please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any query you, you can ask it right away and i will try to get back to you and until the next video please take good care of yourself and bye bye